today at Toronto Beach, and this is the rig we use. We use a regular surf rod, 20 pound test, 15, 20 pound test, like a six or seven foot rod. And then we got a uh, snap swivel, put on that, that on the line first, and then clip on a two, three, or four ounce weight, depending on the day. Get a bead, doesn't really matter the color, and then tie your main line to a swivel with about 14 inches of 20 pound fluorocarbon tied to a number one or two circle hook. And what we use for bait is just a dead shrimp, take the head off, you peel it, control it yourself, you peel it, take the legs off, take everything off, except for the meat, get your circle hook, and stick it right on there, make sure you don't have any shell. And then just go cast it out. When we surf, we put our rods in PVC holders that we make. We Cut them at an angle so there's a point to it. And then we just wait for our rod to bend like that. Got a little bite right there. And most people think it's all Did you get one? I think I got one. Most people think when you surf fish, you have to chuck it out as far as you can. That's not the case. Usually, we catch most of our fish 15 to 20 feet from shore. With a little whiting. Circle look right in now. Let them go. Now show us how you get that rod holder in the ground. Some people just beat it with a hammer, but you don't need a hammer, do you? Yeah, some people beat it with a hammer. It doesn't work very well. But what we do is, got your PVC pipe, about, I don't know, three feet, two, three feet long. And you get it, stick the point in the ground, and wiggle it back and forth until it's eight or ten inches under. however many rod holders you have to put your rods in. Pick your rods and your rod holders and bait them and cash them out and you're ready to fish. My brother got it this time. This one's a keeper size. Whiting are really good to eat. Usually we'll get 15 to 20 on a good day. Today we've got a good bit. Probably a 11 inch whiting. The lamb and they're good eaters. 